This is Luke, and I'm Lori, and we're in the middle of the biggest boat restoration project of our lives as we save this salvage steel sailboat, and things are just getting good. Today we are going to be making a gimbal for our induction stove top. And that's pretty important because we have scoured the internet on some tips on how to make this gimbal and it's been extremely difficult. There's very few people making gimbals and there's very few people making gimbals for induction cooktops. Now, what is a gimbal and why is that important for our boat? It's very straightforward. Our boat being a mono hull tips a lot, heels a lot. So it goes from side to side when you're sailing depending on the wind. If you're going on long passages, from let's say South America to Europe, then you're gonna be in a certain position tilted with the wind for a long period of time. Meaning your boat is gonna be, let's say a little sideways. In that instance, you need a way to be able to cook still and not be in fear for your life because your hot water or whatever is gonna spill over with the direction of the boat. It's really important to have a gimbal because the gimbal, just like a gimbal for your cameras or for your phone and stuff, it levels out whatever surface you're gimbling, and in this case, our cooktop. So the cooktop will stay straight or as straight as possible depending on the angle of the boat, if the boat is healing quite a lot, then perhaps it's not really the moment to be cooking, uh, but for the most part, it'll be being held straight uh, from the side to side, not from, from forward to back. There is gimbals out there that are available that do a 360, but we're just gonna do a port to starboard side. A lot of these stoves that actually come with a stove top and uh, oven below come with our already installing a gimbal. Now that's because they're stoves and ovens made specifically for a boat. Technology nowadays is just getting up to having an induction stove top available in a marine oven. So we don't have anything available for that for us here in Brazil and we certainly don't have the budget for it now. So we bought a really nice induction stove top on sale, it's a singular burner, and we're gonna put that into a gimbal. With our gimbal, it's kind of difficult as well because it is not centered. So if you know a traditional gimbal, their stove tops are already centered, so you just center it on the side, and they swing accordingly, and you have an oven below creating the weight. Our challenge right now is, is that we have a very narrow stove top, it's not centered in the center of the actual machine. It's off centered in the back. And we have to figure out how are we gonna weight it? How are we gonna keep it level? How are we gonna plug it in? How are we gonna make it work? So this is a big challenge and we hope that you get a lot out of it. And perhaps you'd be interested in switching to an induction cooktop in your boat as well. These adventures are made possible by our Patreons and viewers like you. And if you want to see how we transform this rusty boat into our future home, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and ring that bell. It's a totally free way to keep the journey alive. We're gonna make our cooktop sit below our countertop. So we're gonna test out different heights that feel good. You can still see the buttons and it's easy to cook. Now that we have our base, we're gonna cut out our sides.
in. We gave ourselves a little extra height so we can cut down if we want to. But as you can see, it is centered on the center point of the cooktop, like we said. And now when we hang it, it leans forward, right? That doesn't really look like it's working properly. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a weight back here for it to stay level. And that's important because the pot and the weight of all of what we're cooking is gonna be in this area anyway. Now this is a box that's representative of the exact size in this counter. We decided to create this so we can mess around with it, drill it, and it, we won't have any issues with destroying our current galley. So. All right, this is looking good, but it's pretty obvious that we need to make some adjustments. This is a 1.5 kilo anoid and it is 3.3 pounds. We're gonna actually attach this to the bottom of this gimbal, but for now we're just gonna put it on top to see if it actually works. Let's see, do you think if it's enough weight? How is this perfect? This is absolutely perfect. It is, it's looking level, it's looking right. All right, so our model is done. Now let's test it. It's level, it's ready to go, but we need to put a pan on top to see if it's gonna flip over. So, we have a canopy. Let's see if it works, ready? So imagine this is the boat, the structure right here. This is the frame of our galley kitchen. And if the boat was in motion, it would be moving side to side. So let's replicate that. So this is if we're healing port side. I think it works. <laughs> and this is good because this is like a tall pot. Imagine if we had a nice tall pot of water on here. flipping over. I think it's a success. So when it comes to an induction cooktop, we all know it's just a clear flat surface, a nice glass surface, and there's nothing really holding anything. So even if we successfully make a gimbal that's tilting with it, there's still going to be some motion that's going to throw it out of place. So there's a couple of options. There are the little pads that prevent it from moving, so give it a little bit of stickiness to the surface. But there's also a very important aspect, and that's a pot holder. It's a little piece of metal that hugs the pot and keeps it centered on the cooktop so you don't have any issues with it traveling all over the place. Now this is this pot holder is extremely important no matter what, even if you have a gimbal or you don't, because when you're in passage and things are moving around, you do not want what you're cooking to move anywhere. It's very dangerous. So yesterday we finished our mock-up and this is what we came up with. Remember, this is just a representation of the boat itself and this is the actual piece that we're building. There's a couple more things that we still need to do. We need to recreate it. It's just pieced together at this point in time, so we're gonna deconstruct it and put it together looking nicely. We're going to embed this weight that we have in the back, in the back of this crib. And also we're going to experiment with some weights on the bottom and see if it improves the functioning or if it makes it swing a little bit too much because we do have some extra weights that we can put on the bottom of this. So far it's working great and now we just want to make it look good.
see anything. I think I need glasses. All right, so we messed up a little on this. Uh, see these holes that are supposed to be holding the gimbal to the galley itself? Um, we forgot to drill them, pre-drill them, because we wanted to put them together and drill them perfectly, because last time when they were separate and we were drilling them, on their own, we didn't know if they were gonna be completely aligned. And we did it again. So we're gonna create a template and try to drill them in place again. But if you're gonna do it, I would do them when they're together instead of when they're already glued on the piece. definitely suggest doing that with a mask. I don't have one. I'm also not a full-time woodworker, but it would make life much better. <laughs> We put the gimbal inside of our countertop with the frame that we created. Now this is not how it's going to be installed officially. This is just how we're putting it in right now to test it because as you can see, our galley is still under construction. So, but we wanted to have this available and ready so we can work with Fernando Eduardo to make sure that this is going to be built correctly, that our space is going to be large enough for open, opening up. Our space is gonna be large enough to open up and also how it's gonna function in the front. If we're the ship mine, we're still gonna have a countertop going in here. This is gonna be moved forward to stay away from the cabinet. So there's a lot of stuff that we're gonna get. We're gonna get different kinds of screws to fasten it in here and we're gonna coordinate that with Eduardo and Fernando. But it's looking really good right now. We're super happy with how it works. It's working exactly how we need it to. And now we have all of the dimensions that we need to continue and finish our galley. If you want all of the inside scoops and details about our project that don't even make it into our videos, we have a lot of them, you can join us on Patreon and support our project and also get all the details of everything that we're doing. And we want to give huge thanks to all of our patrons who are already subscribed, that are already following us. Without you, this wouldn't even be possible. This is a dream come true, and we want to thank you so much. Um, so join us there. If you haven't already, take a look. We give a lot of little videos showing all the information that we're doing, and we're going to give a lot more information on our our detailed project, like the electrical part or any kind of making, you can ask us questions there and we're available. And we're really excited to keep going, so tune in next week for whatever trouble we get into next. We'll see you soon.